Wow, what a win for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Again, it was like watching an entire season unfold because the game started out, West Virginia was gashing the Cowboys with the run in the end. West Virginia ran the ball for 189 yards, but about three-fourths of that felt like it came in the first half. McCoy was all over the place. And then the Cowboys fall behind 31 to 14 in the first half, and you think, oh man, this is gonna be ugly. It's gonna get really bad. But in the halftime dressing room, and I'm fortunate enough to get the chance to see that, the Cowboys didn't have their heads down. They made adjustments. They listened to their coaches. As Tylen Wallace, who is now probably gonna be a Bolitnikoff Award finalist after the performance today, it wasn't great by his standards, but seven catches, 62 yards, and a couple of touchdowns. And when they see that fade that he caught early on, that's a highlight real catch. Tylen told me in the halftime dressing room, all the players said, yeah. Yeah, we got this. I think as a team, we do a pretty good job of staying, just staying calm. I mean, we were down at half, we came in, we knew everybody was perfectly fine. Nobody's in there just arguing with, uh, with each other. I feel like we um, we stayed together as a team. You know, we knew that we, we can come back and, and win the game, and I think that's what we did. The first half was, you know, it wasn't good, but uh, made halftime adjustments. Coaches, you know, did a heck of a job there. Uh, and then we just got things rolling. Uh, got some momentum going, defense played great. They really did. I mean, they get credit for this one for sure. I'm not sure I felt that way, but in the second half, they showed me. They showed everybody that stayed around to watch it. 45 to 41, and as Mike Gundy said, 45 points, and you turned the ball over four times? That's pretty incredible. Cowboys made a lot of mistakes, but still found a way to get back against a top 10 team and win the game. This is gonna go down as one of the more weird seasons in Oklahoma State history. But I'll tell you what it won't go down as. It won't go down as the season that breaks the Cowboys' bowl streak. Oklahoma State is bowl eligible. TCU will be trying to next week, but Oklahoma State doesn't have to worry about that. They'll go to Fort Worth with the confidence they're gonna play a 13th game, and they could knock TCU out of that opportunity. And they do recruit a lot of players head-to-head -head with the Horn Frogs. So a great afternoon, a great senior day, and the Oklahoma State Cowboys get yet another win over a college football playoff rankings team. They're third this season. Boise State's in there. They beat Texas. They also beat uh, West Virginia today. And you know what? They almost beat Oklahoma. And you can still say they almost beat Oklahoma. For Go Pokes and 247 Sports, I'm Robert Allen.